give this a shot, see if anybody else may be interested in it. Um, so for what I do in professionally in my life is uh, restoration work, you know, mainly fire, floods, uh, mold, bio cleanups. So basically after, you know, somebody commits suicide or, you know, that maybe there's blood trauma around the house that somebody caused go in and clean that up, you know, we'll do sewage cleanups, things like that, and I'm, you know, I just thought people may be interested in some of those things, you know, me personally, before starting out doing this kind of stuff, I didn't even know anything in, like this existed for a business aspect, um, and it's amazing some of the stuff we see and do, some of the um, ideas that we have to come up with to either dry your house, clean your house, um, cool your house so it's not so hot, you know, after fire damages, you know, cleaning before you paint, um, things like that, how to clean some people's certain contents from smoke or soot, you know, there's, like a touch of base on fire, there's so many different fires, um, protein fires, and how hot it gets, and just, it's, it's amazing, and some of the information in the restoration world that could be put out there for people and maybe a video aspect will help you know I thought it'd be kind of cool to see my day-to-day -day life um, and I thought you guys may be interested in it as well and of course you know family life and the business aspect and things like that so I wanted to create this video to see how many people would actually be interested in it and see if I start a vlog if it'd be worth it see you know see if people would want to watch it um, like I said, we do a variety of things. For example, right now, I went from cleaning carpet for a realtor property that was trashed to doing a water damage from, or sorry, not even a water damage, it was a sewer loss from a toilet that was overfilling because there was a clog, but the flapper was failing, so it caused that toilet to flood the whole downstairs of this home. Um, show you guys basically how to keep it sanitary and how to keep it clean you know some people will have an overfilled toilet and it'll be pretty bad and they'll just think that it's okay to let it sit or you know mop it up whatever it may be but some people don't understand those contaminants from that water going into porous materials and you know kids elderly you um, young groups you know you I don't know drop something on the floor and put it in your mouth like the, there's a possibility you'd be getting very sick and then of course what it's like for a restoration person and their family I mean we are going non-stop 24-7 365 days a week you know Christmas Thanksgiving birthdays it's just stressful on the family and some people just don't know how to handle it luckily my wife is amazing my family's amazing um so yeah, let, I mean, comment, let me know, let me know if you're curious, and uh, we'll have some fun with it. Alright guys.